The truth was, I turned that song down about 50 times. She was singing another one of my songs that day, and, and I basically said, throw everything out. Just all these other songs. It's like, even throw out all my songs. The only one that matters is this one. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way. It was exactly what I thought would happen with it. I mean, I knew it. I knew it. You know, and that video was classic, too. In the late 80s, the Turn Back Time video was even too wild for MTV. Thanks to the outfit Cher was or wasn't wearing. It looked much more daring than it really was because you could see that same thing on a beach. I ask for it, but I don't know that anyone who gets to be famous ever believes that the price, what the price is they're going to pay. What is the price? It's sometimes beyond being able to handle. You trade your life for fame, and, and I love my work, but sometimes I don't have a life. Thank you very much. Selling your soul? Selling your private soul? I, yes. It's a real pain in, in, in my tattoos, you know. Sometimes, but sometimes it comes off and it's great. And sometimes being Cher is a pain in my ass and I don't want to be her anymore. Can we please bring the overall level of the band down, Barney? Please. Please. Like I tell my boyfriend, I'm tired of being Cher. I don't want to be Cher anymore. I don't know how much longer I can be Cher. Hi, have I got a gift for you. This is the this is the beginning of step class, our favorite class. The sweat your butt off class. Transition. Slight change on this time round. All right. You'll be right. Back. Just sitting. And big deep breath in. Congratulations. Well done. I'm really proud of you. Great work. I feel okay. It tastes good to me. It's just there. I use it. I like it.
You, you got the sugar, you got the pink stuff, and you got the... You do. You know, I'm not in Hollywood right now. I'm not going to a premiere. This is where I live. To give you all I only Though her star has been a little low on the horizon lately. Where have you been and, and why? I have done this throughout my career. I'm very, very visible and then I'm I'm gone. And then I'm very, very visible and then I'm gone because it's too hot. It's too hot near the light sometimes. It's just too, it's too much, and I don't, and I, I just can't deal with it all, all the time. 113, take one. Cher's step out of the spotlight has not been entirely by choice. She struggled with chronic fatigue syndrome for several years and turned down some great parts. Susan Sarandon's role in Thelma and Louise and the Kathleen Turner role in War of the Roses. What did you do with my cat? In recent years, her highest visibility has been as a pitch woman for a line of hair care products. My, my agent was saying, this is not a good career move, this is not a good career move, and I just said, oh, you know, don't be ridiculous. You're so silly, I can do anything, I'm sure. And all of a sudden, it's like, that's the only thing that anyone can remember about me, that, you know, that everything else has vanished, and, and I just did these cheesy infomercials, you know? I you mean, think I, it was a mistake? Oh, oh, yeah, it was a gigantic mistake. Bearing in mind she made millions of dollars, the infomercials may not have been a brilliant career move. But she stayed in the major leagues so long by making more right moves than wrong. I was just sick constantly, and I couldn't get up out of bed. I would say for two years I didn't get up that much. I didn't, I didn't go anywhere very much. And then I got pneumonia from it, and then I was really sick. And I thought I was dying. You know, I'm a Taurus. So I could really bowl my way through anything. But... When I had the sickness, I couldn't bowl my way through, you know, a wet Kleenex. What she calls the worst period of her life, a time in which she says she suffered from chronic fatigue syndrome. For Cher, these are very busy days. No wonder she's out there plugging her first new album in five years. It's a very sad album. If you listen to the songs, they're very kind of melancholy and moody. Love has lost its mystery. Does that reflect what, what was going on in your personal life at all? Absolutely. An album this free-spirited and independent woman is calling It's a Man's World. It's a Man's World? Yeah. Isn't that on the wrong side of the political correctness line? It's just... Just... You know, it's just the title of the album. That's all. Yes. <laughs> it just seemed interesting. I mean, I know it's a man's world. I just never pay attention to that. It's too much for me to tell. Cheryl, when you get older, I wish you'd hurry to get older so that you would settle down and marry a rich man. And I said, Mom, I am a rich man. And I am tonight. Walking in the Shoot.